Okay, everybody. Now, Chris, in um, in the levels chapter, levels is really important. If uh, if you want to know one thing that will help your photographs in the future using Photoshop, levels could quite frankly be it. And I know Chris likes curves better, and curves is more powerful and probably a better way to adjust your photographs, but <clears throat> I've used levels for years and always does good things for me. So anyway, his tutorial is pretty clear um, in the chapter on levels uh, in uh, Photoshop for photographers, but I'm just going to go over it again because I'll move a little bit slower than he does, and that might help you out. Okay, I've opened up a photograph here, and um, and now I um, I want to do a levels adjustment to it. Now I want to reiterate one thing, and that is anybody can change levels. You just go to Image Adjustments, and you'll see here that there's levels, and there's also an Auto Levels that will do it automatically for you. You don't have to do anything. But if you do Levels, it opens up the histogram, and you can play with these sliders, right? and change your image and then you click OK and you can see that my image got a lot more um, a lot more higher contrast got, the blacks got blacker and the whites got whiter but I've changed my background layer I've changed my image and altered my image so um, that's not what he likes to do that's not what Chris does that's not what he recommends and so that's not what we're gonna recommend or I'm gonna recommend so I'm gonna do edit undo levels and I'm going to go down here and uh, in my uh, layers uh, window I'm gonna go to the adjustment layer and I'm gonna do an adjustment layer for levels okay and same thing same dialog box for levels but now it's in an adjustment layer which is non-destructive meaning I can just turn it off or delete this and I, I'm back where I began I haven't altered my main image so here's my uh, adjustment levels and uh, what I can do is I can see here this is the histogram and the histogram tells you where all your pixels are located think of this as as this mountain this mountain is your pixels and you can see that I have very few pixels almost none in pure black okay and if you look at my image you can see my image doesn't have a lot of black it's mostly gray and it has quite a bit of white up here in the sky notice how there's a jump in the white in the pure white area and that's because of the sky right here that's where we're getting this and then there's a big mountain of pixels right in the middle right in gray and if we look at this image we see that yes the majority of the image is gray in fact so well what am I gonna do to this image well I'm just gonna maybe push my blacks a little bit higher boost my blacks up which will help this very gray image and if I wanna test it uh, you can just turn the preview on and off that's before after you can see right there that's a big improvement and then the other thing I can do I don't need any more whites because of this white sky but what I could do is play with this gray slider and see what that does. Now you can see if I pull it here I'm it's way too dark but I could maybe darken the image slightly okay and I'm good before after before after and click OK and now I've changed my levels. Now notice as soon as we've done that on the levels uh, layer here, in the bottom right hand corner here, I'm looking at the levels layer, there's a mask. And the mask is um, there, built in, and white is reveal, as you remember, black is conceal. And so since my mask is all white, it's revealing all of my levels adjustment. But I could take away certain bits of this adjustment if I decided that I wanted to. So for instance, let's say I, I think this is too dark over here. I'll just get my paintbrush and I'm going to need to do this. Set my paintbrush to black. All right, so black's on top here. I flipped it and I've got a paintbrush. My paintbrush is going to need to be bigger. So I'll just uh, set that to be a bit bigger. How about a lot bigger? Okay, that's, that's bigger. And I'm going to make it a little bit less hard. So a very soft brush. I'll slide that over, make that even bigger. All right, and so now you can see my brush here. And I can paint, and everywhere I paint over here, I'll be taking away that adjustment layer uh, mask. 
Okay, so that lightens up this whole area, but it does it a little bit too drastically. So what he does, I'm going to do Control Z to undo. What he does is he sets the opacity of his brush way down. I'm going to change it to 50% here, right? And I make my brush even bigger and even softer. And now, if I just paint over here, I can take away very subtly some of this um, darkness and you can see my mask here I can shift click on the mask to see it go on and off and you can see that I've just subtly lightened up this area right here I could also do it to this window right here and um, lighten that up and then shift click my mask to see what it looked like before and after and that might um, help my image okay that's it hopefully, hopefully that helps